Hello! I am in a different space today because I have decided to do a reading challenge. I am the biggest fan of watching people talk about books. I just love it. I just really love it. Whenever I'm feeling anxious or bored or uh, uninspired, then I like to watch people talk about books on the internet. It's just, it's just my, it's just my kink at the moment. It's just what I really love. So I thought, why don't I film more videos about books? Because I like talking about books and people are bored in my regular life of hearing about me going on about books they don't really care about. So I thought, this is a really beautiful community. I also said in the last video I spoke about, it's a very kind part of the internet and I feel like that's quite rare to find, just a very kind, generous, loving part of the internet and that's really beautiful. So I thought I would do the reading rush this year, which is, I think it happens every year. Um, people, I will leave the video down below. Oh, I'm so sorry, you can see my pants. <laughs> I didn't really think about this filming setup before I filmed. I was just thinking it'd be nice to film behind my books, but I've just realised all my pants are drying, but all of our pants need to dry, it's fine. But I thought since I was feeling unmotivated, I'm unemployed, and I'm uninspired, I thought, yeah, maybe it'd be nice to do something that's nothing to do with making money or worrying about what's happening in the world and it's just about reading books. I thought that sounded really nice. So basically every year this reading challenge happens um, and it's I think it's like a midway mark of the year to try and get in as many books as you can. Um, my goal of the year was to read 25 books and I think I've read about 16 so I'm more than there but I'd quite like to just read as many as I could. So. Basically, the reading rush has different challenges. Um, there's seven different challenges to finish, and you have a week. So you have from the 20th of July till I think the 26th or the 27th of July to read as many books as you can. Um, and I just thought that's a really nice goal. It's a really nice focus for a week. Uh, during all of this lockdown and all the rest of it, in Scotland, things are starting to get a bit more back to normal, but they're still pretty weird. And I reckon it's probably gonna be pretty weird for a while. So I thought, why not? read some books. So I've not really got what books I want to read yet. I've just had a little look at the challenges but I'm going to have a look now at the challenges properly and see what I'm going to read. So the first challenge is read a book with a cover that matches the colour of your birthstone. I didn't even know what a birthstone was until I looked at this and my birthstone is apparently reddish, like a deep red and it was just like fate. It was like fate that that was the colour because my friend very kindly sent me a book the other day that I'm so excited about. It is Women Don't Owe You Pretty by Florence Given and I've seen Florence on Instagram and loads of different places and I've actually shared her work without actually realising that it, um, like she had a book or anything. I think this book is very new um, and it is so beautiful. I am just completely Oh, I just think it's absolutely beautiful and she's only 21. I read start like the first few pages and she's a 21 year old London based artist and writer and um, she has been named Cosmopolitan's Cosmopolitan's influence of the year. She has more than 300,000 followers on Instagram, been interviewed by BBC Breakfast um, to discuss the stigma around being single and uh, fat phobia and she talks about period poverty fat phobia, loads of woman things and this book is about feminism and about being a woman and about how being a woman doesn't mean that you, you know, need to be pretty all the time, doesn't mean you need to be anything all the time. Um, so I'm just so excited to read this. I, I don't know if I can even wait till the 20th because I'm just so excited. It's just so beautiful. So I was really happy that was the first challenge. So. I've got my first book. The second book is read a book that starts with the word the. And I think for this book I'm going to read, I think for this book I'm going to read The Guest Cat and um, because it's quite small and I want to try and read a couple of books during this, I'm quite a slow reader so The Guest Cat is about 136 pages so, well not about, it's 136 pages and I just thought it looked quite nice. I've heard some people talking about The Guest Cat and said it's just really lovely and um, so I thought that'd be a good book to read and it's quite small so I thought I'd add that. The next one is read a book that inspired a movie you've already seen. I think this is going to be quite difficult because I don't really watch a lot of films. Hmm. The only one I could really do for this challenge is Wild by Shirley Strayed. 
I have seen part of the movie of this but I've not uh, read any of the book but I have seen some of the movie of this and I've been wanting to read this for so long. I kind of feel like it'd be quite a good book to read as an agoraphobe who is not very wild and struggles to leave her house at all to read this and also maybe quite a good lockdown book because it's about, although it's about travelling and walking loads and all the rest of it, it's a book mainly about resilience. If you've never heard of it before, it's about a woman who um, has a lot of difficult stuff happen in her life. I think she goes through a divorce um, and a few other things and she decides to, she decides to walk 1100 miles off the west coast of America and she decides to do it alone. So I, I think it is about resilience and about being strong and about carrying on which is something that I think is very very prevalent right now. A lot of what we're going through right now is all about resilience and I think we've all been so resilient through this time uh, and I just think yeah I think it'd be a quite a good book to read during this. Um, so actually yeah I'm really excited about these three. I think that's good. There's no way I'm going to manage to read seven books because it's just not going to happen but the next challenge is read the first book you touch. So these books I've read and the top shelf I've read, uh, I've not read any of these so I might just go like this and touch a book. Oh what is it? The Refugees. Uh, I've wanted to read this for a while so I'm quite happy with that. I think this is a book about, I think this is a collection of different stories from refugees. Um, I don't know if they are all fictional or non-fiction, I'm not really sure. Um, but I think it's a book about refugees coming into America and their different experiences. Um, I know that there is one about um, a boy that goes to live with a gay couple and finding that transition quite hard um, and there's one about, um, I think there's just lots of different stories of refugees in here and I think this will be really good to read. I've watched to read this for a really long time so I'm happy with that one. Next we have uh, read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. I think for me that would probably be some kind of horror or creepy kind of stuff. I read Sharp Object by, by Gillian Flynn this year and I really enjoyed that. I really really liked it. I thought it was quite fast paced so it might be quite good for a readathon. So I think I'm going to go for something horror-y and I think I'll go for Ian Rankin. Um, what's this book called? Strip Jack. Uh, I've never read any Ian Rankin although I'm from Edinburgh and he's an Edinburgh author so I think this would be really interesting to read. Um, I've just really wanted to read more crimey kind of books and I've never really gotten around to it. Ian Rankin has loads of books I've never read any of his so this would be a good one. And then read a book that play, takes place on a different continent than you. I think I'm going to choose one of the ones I already have. I think five books is more than enough to try and get through in a week because that's not going to happen. I like watching Dirty Shore too much. Um, so I think for that one, I think The Guest Cat, in fact I think all three of these are from different continents. I believe this one is Japan, The Guest Cat. This one is America, Wild, and this one is America as well, The Refugees. So I think I'm going to choose one of those ones for that one. And also, the last reading challenge is to read a book completely outside of your house. I have no idea which one I'm going to choose for that. Probably, it could be The Guest Cat. Um, I don't have a garden, and I live in Scotland, so it's raining all the time. So I think that will be quite a hard one, so I might choose one of these to go read at my boyfriend's house. And um, maybe the Florence given one just to be sassy to him and be like, I don't owe you shit. I think that would be a good one. Just to hurl abuse. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about these actually. That's a really good TBR to have. Um, if any of you would like to join in this challenge, I'd really, really love to. We can maybe have a wee group chat on Instagram of all of us that are doing the challenge together. So if you would like to um, take part in this challenge, uh, the woman that runs this is Ariel, her name's Ariel Bissett, and she's the nicest girl ever. I just, I've watched her videos for a while and I just think she's so kind and funny and I just really, really like her. So I'll leave her video down below to the actual announcement. She has loads of like, she's done so much work into this, I think it's really cool. But basically the readathon starts on the 20th and finishes on the 26th, I think. Um, and so if any of you would like to do this with me um, and with everybody else that's doing it then let me know and you can leave your Instagram handle down below or you can message me on Instagram we can have a wee group chat, that would be fun. Just talking about books and what we're reading and how we're big fat nerds and all of that good stuff. This is my TBR, I'm really excited for these books. Most excited of course for Women Don't Know You Pretty, I think it's just going to be, I'm going to be really into it. Um, so yeah, 
let me know down below if you're going to take part and what book you're really excited to read. Um, and thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!